Look at these walls. Take a good look at them. Try counting the stones that hold them up, one by one. Can you imagine the immense amount of work that goes into this? Dry walling, without using mortar, with bare hands and few tools. Choosing the most suitable stones and stacking them on top of each other. Trapped in a dynamic balance, each indispensable to the vital energy of the whole. An archaic commitment. An ancient and demanding craft born thousands of years ago. In places rich in stones and poor in soil, men began to clear the fields of stones and build fences with them to protect the plots, to shelter the crops from the wind, to enclose and defend animals. A patient and millinery work that has shaped the territory, leaving an unmistakable imprint on the landscape. Look at these terraced vineyards growing along the steep slopes. They are the most beautiful testimony to human stubbornness, to men who have made stone their best ally in the hard struggle to make this land cultivable. Admire the beauty of this mountain scenery, real stone landscapes, an uninterrupted sequence of low walls, fences, shelters, and huts. And be grateful to those who are now working to rediscover and protect this heritage of buildings, to rescue it from degradation. They are not just saving a legacy from the past, but they transmit to the new generations a useful tool to face the most urgent challenges of the contemporary world. Preventing landslides and flooding, fighting against soil erosion and desertification. There are hundreds of thousands of kilometers of stone walls adorning the hillsides and mountains of Europe. They are a model of environmental and economic sustainability, an example of harmony between man and nature, which the world asks us to promote and safeguard. Art of dry stone walling. Italian elements of the UNESCO intangible cultural heritage. Our living heritage is a legacy for the world.